Hey guys, Spirit of the Lie here. Along with the new expansion coming out today, there's also a ton of balance changes, including to the Elephant Archer, which I want to focus on in this quick video. The Elephant Archer is of course being moved from the Indian's Castle to being a regional archery range unit for the three new civilizations. Depending on how you count it, it's receiving either 9 or 10 changes, just to give you a sense of how large the overhaul actually is. So let's check it out. The first changes reflect how much easier it is to spam archery ranges than it is to spam castles. They're going from 25 to 34 seconds to create, and the elite upgrade research time is being bumped from 60 to 80 seconds. For reference, camel riders, battle elephants, and step lancers are all in the 22 to 24 second training time range. Crossbows are 27, and the knight and scout line are 30 seconds each. Going up to 34 seconds puts elephant archers on the same level as hand cannoneers and non-heavy cavalry archers. Even with that longer training time, saving on 650 stone per castle means, if anything, I think they'll actually be a little easier to mass than they were before. Something else helping them, at least subtly, is their food cost is being dropped by 10, so they're now 90 food and 70 gold. They also have their movement speed increased from 0.8 to 0.9 tiles per second before husbandry, which is the same as the militia line without squires. With husbandry, elephant archers actually move faster now than the crossbow line, though most infantry with squires will still outpace them. So far, we have a picture of a cheaper, faster, easier to mass unit that seems much more functional and easy to integrate with different army compositions. Here's the catch though, they're way more squishy. To start with, their HP is dropping by 50 for both the elite and non-elite version. To put that change into perspective, functionally every hit they take hurts about 20% more. Their armor is also being changed quite a bit. Not only is their pierce armor being slashed from 3 to 2, but there's also some more funky armor changes happening behind the scenes. The short takeaway is elite skirmishers are going to be doing plus 13 bonus damage against them now instead of plus 8. The details of how exactly that's working isn't necessarily important, but for those familiar with AoE 2 armor types, the elephant archer is going from negative 2 to negative 7 cavalry archer armor. That means any unit that has bonus damage specific to cavalry archer armor, which is admittedly a pretty small list, are now doing a lot more damage against elephant archers. After all of those changes, just two elite skirmishers with all upgrades are almost a match for an elite elephant archer now. Clearly, overall they're less tanky, but that's not where the bad news ends. They're also having an accuracy reduction from 100% to 70% and 85% for non-elite and elite respectively. At close range, units tend to perform much better than their base accuracy would suggest, and it is improved back to 100% with thumb ring, but that's an extra step, and something to slow down the damage output of at least early elephant archers. Bengalis also don't have thumb ring at all, so their elephant archers are permanently inaccurate. And finally, the last change is they're losing their attack bonus against buildings and stone walls. This was a plus 3 or plus 4 bonus, and applied to everything from gates and walls to houses and stables. It makes sense moving them closer to a regular archer unit, but again it's objectively another nerf. My overall impression here is that elephant archers are going to be a little easier to mass and faster moving, but have the trade-off of being weaker, especially against skirmishers, and even have some hidden nerfs like to accuracy and against buildings. Personally, I like the idea of a ranged unit that can soak up archer fire, and the fact they can move around the same speed as infantry and archers now is going to make them feel like less of a burden to your army's mobility. They still win cost effectively against the archer line, they can survive mangonel shots better than an archer, all while adding a bit of variety to the new sieves, so hopefully we see them used more often than they were before. But that's just a quick look at one of the big changes coming in the patch today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.